I have two things in front of me today. One is my Galaxy Tab S6, and the other is my SanDisk 1TB SSD. And what we're gonna do today is see if we can actually edit some 4K footage on this bad boy. Now keep in mind, this is gonna be unscientific, meaning I'm just gonna straight up import it, see if I can edit it, do some tweaking if I have to. And this is only so I can show you guys, anyone that's interested in video editing, if you're just capable of doing it on here, but I wanna do 4K just to see how far I can push this thing. So we're gonna keep it relatively light, but we are still gonna see what we can do. So. Let's just get into it. I'm also gonna be editing this footage, like this exact footage that I just recorded, this little intro. Yeah, keeping it simple. All right, so I got the Galaxy Tab S6 screen recording. Now I'm gonna take the actual raw footage that I got right on here. I'm gonna see if I can import it. And the biggest question is gonna be for me is if Adobe Rush natively supports and can read uh, CRM files. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so. Let's pop this bad boy in. We're gonna go to my files. We're gonna give it a quick second here. There it is. So we're gonna go ahead. And so we can see that the CRM file is right here. And obviously when I tapped on it, it doesn't recognize the file, right? And that's okay. So what we're gonna do is I was gonna try to uh, actually edit straight off this thing. But first I wanna test what it's like editing it through the actual like just storage that it has built in. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm just gonna put it in the movies folder. I mean, that's good enough. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in there. And now we're just gonna let it transfer right on over. All right, the file's there. So now let's get into Adobe Rush. So from here, we're gonna create a new project. So let's go ahead and add media. As I expected, I cannot find the file on here. So what I'm gonna actually do is go to my MacBook Pro and I'm gonna render this out as an MP4, but I will definitely do my best to preserve details. Uh, but the point is I'm gonna keep it 4K. So for other people that know video editing, relax. I know this isn't the best way to show, but it's still something. And let's be real, most people have uh, MP4 files, not CRMs. So this will probably be a little closer to real life as we can get. All right, so the video's in. Uh, let's go ahead and just start tinkering here. Uh, let you guys see on screen what I'm doing. So this is gonna be interesting. I've also never really edited on here, like on the tablet. So this is a very first experience for me as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it the way I guess feels comfortable for me to edit. And let's, yeah, let's take a look, see what's possible. All right, so scrubbing so far isn't that bad. It is a little jittery, um, but it's pretty usable. It refreshes pretty quick. So that's actually really nice. So I have two things in front of me today. One is my Galaxy Tab S6, and over here, here my Sandisk Extreme. Wow, so playback is actually not bad. Uh, all right, so let's go again. All right, so that crashed. Okay, so so far we've crashed once in the midst of trying to edit here. All right, so far doing simple cuts is actually going pretty well. Um, I'm not... I'm not too surprised also because I did compress it. All right, so that was not too bad aside from one crash that we've experienced. Uh, it could have been worse, but I mean, I would say so far we're off to a good start. Uh, so let's say now what I want to do is color grade, you know? So let's go ahead. We have our clip selected here. So we're going to go to this little section and they have some presets and I could also just edit it myself. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tweak with it, find where I feel looks pretty good although the problem we're well not the problem but the sucky thing is again i i don't get the full experience here uh but we'll see what i can do all right so now let's say i want to copy my preset or my color grading here can i do that is that possible is there a copy button create preset so this all right so we're gonna actually name this uh video 4K edit preset. Okay, so so far that's pretty good. So you can create a preset um, and you can actually color grade instantly. Although from what I'm seeing, I'm not very pleased with how this looks, um, but like it is what it is, I guess. Okay, this one looks a lot better. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and save this. Okay, so it also doesn't layer it, so that's good. So if you click a preset, you can just go ahead and finick around, right? Yeah, and it just, puts it right on top. Okay, well, that's actually pretty cool. So I, I dig that. Um, all right, what else can I do? So now let's say 
the the A cuts done. Let's say whatever you wanted to edit is good. So now let's go ahead and put some music. Okay, so I put some music in now. Let's give this a shot. Right away, you can tell that the music's too loud. So can I lower the audio there? All right, so I added my 4K footage. I color graded, I added music. And now let's go ahead and do an export and see just kind of how that works out. All right, so here are the export settings. So it's gonna automatically set it to what I already have. So it's gonna do 4K at 29.97 frames and the estimated file is 192. So adding the additional stuff did make the file size bigger. So that's uh, good to know. So this is done exporting and I wanna take a look at it. But one thing I'm already noticing is, I don't know what happened to the right side of this. It's kind of cut or another frame is on there. That's kind of weird. Uh, but let's just quickly take a look at our work and yeah, see if it was uh, worth the effort. I have two things in front of me today. One is my Galaxy Tab S6 and the other is my SanDisk one terabyte SSD. And what we're gonna do today all right, biggest problem, hands down, right away, is, um, yeah, the, the black bars, but that's more on my part, just the way I exported it. But it's also, like, what happened to the right side? That's weird. Uh, but, but again, this was kind of quick. This was just to see if it's capable. I'm not hoping to do anything with this. But at the end of the day, guys, I mean, yeah, if you have an MP4 and it's 4K and you want to pop it in here and edit, I mean, yeah, you could do it. Do I recommend it? No, of course not. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to take editing seriously, I mean, yeah, you could do it as like a start, but nothing defeats like, you know, actually having a desktop or laptop with like the better software to do it. My biggest thing is like the color correction. I really wanted to get more into detail on that, but I couldn't. Uh, I still did something that I can do at least. Uh, but overall, I'd say, is it possible to edit 4K video on the Galaxy Tab S6? Yes. All right, so thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys learned something. You learned that you can edit 4K video on here if you're able to get your hands on Adobe Rush. And I don't know, I would just say if you're gonna use this for some light editing for like little montages of your Call of Duty games, I mean, why not go for it? I am planning to do this exact video again, but this time on the iPad 2019 base model because that's the one that I have available to me. So if you're interested in that, feel free to subscribe and leave it down in the comment section for anything in particular you wanna see in that, but that's definitely gonna be coming relatively soon. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you got something to say, leave it down in the comment section. And if you're new, hi, welcome to Civil Spider Studios or just Civil Spider, cause that's me. Feel free to subscribe for future videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.